This is Dave Simon here at Mount Rock School in St. Louis with Kara Yannon. Kara is an instructor at the school. She also works in the office. Kara, we're going to talk a little bit about drumming in junior rockers. That, I have found for me to be one of my biggest challenges, working with drummers who are playing just the drums at one part and don't know how to drum. Kara is not a professional drummer. It's not even her second instrument. It's maybe her third or fourth instrument. So I assume a lot of junior rockers directors are going to be in a similar situation. So let's kind of go through some different issues that come up. One common issue is with the drum set one part is we're looking at song two here. In the verse, the second measure has a different rhythm. Okay, so why don't you really quick, quickly play. And I'll do this. You're the student, I'm the teacher, right? I'll say to a kid, play your kick drum one time. Let me hear you play your snare drum. Do you know what a flam is? No. So a flam is when you hit the drum with both sticks at the same time. That's what the little note is there. Let me hear a flam. Beautiful. Let me hear two kick drums. Good. I want to hear your snare drum and your cymbal. Or maybe that cymbal for now. Yeah. Let me hear them together. Good. Let me hear you play just that measure. Good. Kara's going to read music. So typically what I would do is I would say it sounds like this. Boom, crack. Boom, boom, crack. I do a lot of air drumming. I'm always air drumming. Okay. Play this measure and then the second measure. Just play those two together. Good. And I always have kids. What you did was fine is I would have them, whenever there's two strokes on a drum, I have them go right, left. It has more of a drum machine sound, a little run DMC sound if you go with one hand. So let's say you're struggling with that. Then I'm going to simplify and I'm just going to have you play that first measure over and over. So that's one common fix. Let's still say you're getting tripped up with this. I'd have you take out that cymbal. So let me hear just that first measure without the cymbal on that last hit. Good. You literally played what I said. You could even have the kid do a flam there. So that's one easy fix. A lot of these beats are, let me find, so we were looking at song two. A lot of these beats move around the drum set a lot. Okay, so we're looking at song eight. This issue, kids like these type of beats. So this one, let me hear you play kick, two snares, right, left, kick, high rack tom, right, left, kick, snare, snare, right, left again, kick. I think that's floor tom. Right, so try just that beat there. So let's say, there's a lot of movement with that. It looks good. Like kids like that feel of all that movement. But it's still, like even yourself, you know, you can hesitate a little bit because there's a lot of movement. And if the kid's struggling, I'll say to the kid, for the sake of the rehearsal, just play kick, snare, snare, kick, snare, snare. You know, just for today. And I always let them know, look, we're not going to like, we're going to change it, but I just want to get through the rehearsal with you doing just that. So kick and snare drum patterns is, is the easiest way to go. But really, I always make it a point, um, you know, kids' feelings might get hurt. If I'm like, no, just like kick and snare, and they see all this other movement, mm -hmm. at the end of practice, they always say, okay, I want you to work on at home playing what's written, and I'll make a point the next week to kind of go, look, it, if you're not ready for the full beat yet, that's fine. You know, as I don't just... It's easy to kind of sweep it under the rug, their feelings, and go, yeah, just play kick and snare. You know, as long as they see that you're thinking about it too and that you're trying to work them up, up, up to that part, they'll be happy. Here's a common issue that comes up is we're looking at song number uh, two again. 
Look at, at the chorus there. Um, I think, yeah, the start of the chorus. They're on the floor, Tom, in the snare. It looks a little scary. Um, can you play just... Actually, can you play both of those first two measures of the chorus? Sure. Give it a shot. Uh, um, a floor tom. So, so oh. no kit. Yeah, I'm drum set. Yeah. Uh, so you'll uh, floor tom and snare together. Oh. Your floor tom is going to be, and I'll say this to kids, your floor tom never stops. You're reading the floor as a snare. Oh. So the floor is like, good. Okay, good. So quite often, that's what's written, is the kid um, can't play mm -hmm. the floor tom and the snare together. They'll go, dum, 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 dum. You know, they get really tripped up with that. Mm -hmm. So I'll say to them, then just play your floor tom. So try that. No left hand, just floor tom. You can even, I'll, I'll even say to them, but hit a little bit harder with me. Let's watch me. I'll go. Try that. That totally provides what you need musically. You've got an eighth note, you know, drive, you know, something's driving the eighth notes, and you're getting beats two and four um, accented. Mm. But you weren't playing beats two and four on, on the snare drum yet, mm. but you're taking care of it. So, you know, you get the question to ask yourself is, what's, what musically, like, why was this drum beat written this way? Mm. And clearly, something's trying to be communicated to me. In this case, it's, yeah, the music needs eighth notes now. Mm. And sure enough, everybody else up here is doing, doing eighth notes. Mm -hmm. um, so play this whole these the whole two measures. Again, the first two measures of the chorus song number two. With the snare, yeah, the whole okay. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, clean up the rhythms, but you got it. Mm -hmm. Oh you, yeah, there it is. Try it again. Try it again. Okay. Good. So like that's tricky. Like I have a band playing this song right now, and they really struggled with this. I had them starting out just playing boom, count, boom, boom. The transition. That's they struggle. The kids struggle a lot with transitions. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So these are some different ways to deal with the child who's struggling. Mm -hmm. He's maybe not in private lessons. It's simplifying, figuring out what the music's calling for. Now let's take a look at, um, this comes up too, not as much as I'd like, is the drummer is a little advanced mm -hmm. and the music's too easy for them.